Right, I've hooked this up so the uh, Jacob ladder to spark gap. I've got some uh, 15 kV rated uh, cable and I'm just going to switch it on now to see what it does. So let's have a look. So we're only getting the uh, spark across the gap, we wasn't getting anything coming out the top. I'm going to try and test it up a little bit different. Try it with a ground connection now, because uh, I get the feeling that uh, we've burnt out the bottom half of the coil. So I'll show it again. And that smoke coming off it again. Well, well it uh, really looks like the uh, the cable I've got is not rated to 15 kV, like it said it was and you can see where it's fused parts of the coil together and uh, you can also see on the actual wire that white piece there is a piece where it's, uh, it's come through and that's another piece where it's come through and fused it I'm um, not too happy about that at all. I think I'm going to have to get back on at the uh, people I got it off. Because that has wrecked the coil now. That's no, no good at all. Okay then. I've got a wire from the top now. Uh, coming into my continuity tester. And if I tap the other wire at the bottom and get a good connection you can see that I've definitely got continuity because that dirty little burn you can see going up it uh, I think the uh, resonant frequency's changed if I uh, just place this on here now you can see that uh, around the four or five hundred mark there. Well, where it used to be. On the two seventy. Two hundred seems to uh, be getting something there. But then as soon as you put it onto the uh times ten scale it goes off. So Slowly move up the range. And we're getting nothing there until 1.3 megahertz. We go all the way back down again. So it's happening about uh, 4:30, I think it is over there. But uh, it was just around the 300 mark. That was getting it before. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, sand down all of them areas. And uh, re-varnish. So this will be the third rework to it now. And uh, hopefully we'll get it to work in this time. Well, it doesn't look like there's any permanent damage done there. I've uh, scratched it all back with a Stanley knife. And we're still getting continuity. And I'm just going to uh, go over it all again with a uh, varnish. And hopefully we've gotten away with that. Which is a great relief, because uh, I didn't want to have to wind it all again. So uh, I'm going to see if uh, I can get the uh, resonant frequency back to the same again. I'll do that now. 
Right, since I've scratched off all of the, uh, the burnt varnish, it appears that uh, uh, we've got a more decent scope. On it, if I. It appears that. Uh, that's when my arm's out. <laughs> right, so. What I need to do is just. Quickly. That's it, so uh, we're looking at 278.4. For the resonant frequency now, because we got there on uh, ten times, and that's roughly back where it was. So all I need to do is get uh, some varnish on that, and we'll never know it ever happened. <laughs> and I'm much happier at that now. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching, and I'm going to get some varnish on this. I don't know if you can see where it is now. A little street down there and across. What I've done is I've uh, put brown permanent marker on it and then uh, just put a load of uh, varnish over the top. But I'm really annoyed with the fact that uh, that uh, wire was a 15 kV rated to and uh, it literally just burnt straight through it. So. Uh, I'm going to have, be having a go at the person that sold me that. Because uh, I wasn't expecting that at all. But uh, I suppose these things happen. So uh, I think I'm going to test it with the classic coil next time. I just go in there uh, uh, out and around. Uh, the one that I've already built. And uh, we'll get there in the end. And uh, thanks for watching.